he let it be known in his Wednesday press conference that he would like to see the football <laughs> perhaps a little more frequently. Squeaky wheel? Well, yes, whatever it takes. <laughs> Hey, you know, it's not a bad guy to get it full. One of the best wide receivers in the game. He beat the Lions in 2016. Here's Devontae Adams, already his third catch. And bounces forward for a couple. It's going to leave the Raiders about three yards short of the first down. Continuing to give help up top. Boyer, good protection. Has time over the middle. There's a flag. He wanted Hunter Renfro. Jalen Johnson, who came back a week ago against the Vikings, they have gotten there a little early. For the pass, illegal contact. Defense number 33. There it Five is. Yard 33. The previous spot. Automatic first down. He had missed two games with a hamstring, came back last week, and now the flag. Well, right after five yards. See, he just collects them, bear hugs them, no pun intended. Way too much there, even through the catch point. Right, it's that left arm draped all over. Second and seven. Boyer to the sideline, complete, and Jacoby Myers able to fight for the first down. Johnson out there once more to make the tackle, but an eight-yard pickup moves the sticks for the Raiders. Just a lot of bodies out there, but Brian Hoyer understanding defense and coverage, understanding how much space he had on the edge. Watch, just knowing he's going to get inside leverage. It's man-to-man. -man. Boom, take the quick completion. Let your guys do the rest. He's going to have to make some more throws here if this run game doesn't pick itself up. First catch today, by the way, by somebody not named Devontae Adams for Raiders. Yeah. Look at all that space out there. Give it to him. Boyer looking the other direction to the sideline and a fingertip grab by Jacoby Myers. He had Jalen Johnson right on him. And somehow Myers able to hang on and pull that one in. Look at this strong catch by Jacoby Myers. He's running this speed out. Right on time, perfectly thrown ball, and he does an excellent job. Just strong hands through the catch with Jalen Johnson all over him. And then a little stiff arm gets thrown a little <laughs> bit out of the club. With a second down and seven. Boyer off the play fake with oh. time, and he finds the open receiver down to the 35-yard line goes Jacoby Myers before T.J. Edwards can cover him up. Thought he had a chance with Meyer down the middle, and this is his second option on the curl. Great job by Meyer, understanding where the catch point is, understanding where the window is going to be. I think he passed up the tight end down the middle. I think he had a big one. He's going to want that one back. Second and six. Boyer, a little tall this time for Jacoby Myers. Myers has been the favored target on this possession. Couldn't connect there, and it's third and six. It's just a slant route. Hoyer missed it. They came after him with a six-man pressure. A little strong backer blitz. Himself in his opener. Hoyer under pressure, able to step away, manipulating the pocket to avoid the sack. Incomplete intended for Jacoby Myers, and Carissa's got a game break. Can't wait too much longer. Those quick outs to the sidelines won't suffice. Boyer's long pass of the day is 15 yards, and it's intercepted, picked off by Jalen Johnson. Johnson untouched for the touchdown. Uh -oh. And the pick six may end the Soldier Field drought. Over a year since the Bears Won a game at home. Well, Jalen Johnson never got out of his backpedal. He was just shadowing Devontae Adams. Wasn't scared of him running by. We talked about those short underneath throws all game. He was sitting on it. You see, Coach Graham didn't love it. But Jalen Johnson jumped on that comeback route, was all over it. Had no fear of Devontae Adams running by him. But the Chicago Bears doing it on both sides of the ball. The offense clicking, the defense scoring, and the Bears rolling up 30 to six. After the pick six, the first for the Bears since week two of 2021. First and 10. 
O'Connell going deep, and it's intercepted again. Jalen Johnson with his second pick. And a chance to celebrate once more for the former second round pick in 2020. Jalen Johnson snaring two interceptions late in the Windy City. Back-to-back -back drives end with a pick, and the Bears take over on their way to win number two. In 2021, does not have an interception last year. So two years later, gets his second career interception, and then his third career pick five minutes later. Better save that ball for number 17. Well, their first win at home since September 25th of last year against the Texans, snapping the longest home losing streak in franchise history. And Tyson Bagent is the quarterback that got it done. Why not? NFL scriptwriters on it.